healthcare is a profession that is quite, quite female dominated, which means that it's women who are on the front line and we're seeing what the issues are and the things that need challenging and improving. Um, I've always loved people and been fascinated by um, human beings and being around them in their company and I also really loved science. So after a bit of reflection and living my life I decided that the um, natural thing to do was to work into a career where I could work with science and people and that was nursing. Um, after my nurse training um, I opted to go for haemodialysis um, as my speciality as it seemed to combine everything really well, technology, science, um, long-term conditions where you really got therapeutic relationships with your patients and got to know them and that's how I ended up working in renal services. The biggest influence in my life um, that has affected me professionally and personally is definitely when there was a death in the family. Um, it was a very close relative of mine and I was the main carer and they lived with a long-term condition for 10 months. Um, six and a half of those were in um, hospital. Just um, was the first time in my life that I faced my own mortality and got an understanding really of how important it is um, for the care for people to receive in hospital and their carers to be um, really thought about evidence-based and for practices to be challenged and improved all the time. It still influences me now and when I look at my patients and their relatives I always think about that personal experience and what it is that, why I'm doing what I'm doing. A big challenge for me with my career is um, for me to work in um, the hospital that I want to work in which provides such amazing renal services and is the place for me to develop um, I have to travel quite far so meaning three hours um, a day I get up at five o'clock in the morning sometimes I get home at ten o'clock at night and um, so work-life balance can sometimes be difficult but I have to accept that that's what I need to do and um, to progress the way I want to progress and get the changes made that I want making. When you're working in long-term conditions, it's um, a strange environment. It's not like anything else. Um, you really develop therapeutic relationships and you get to know your patients very, very well. Um, so I think humour is really important for all of us, um, including the patients. So at work, <laughs> We do tend to cry quite often. There are certain things that can be frustrating or particular patients that just tug at your heartstrings and get you emotionally. Other things that can be difficult or make me cry, uh, non-clinical aspects. Um, so I presented a poster at the British Renal Society conference last year, which was the first time I'd done anything like that. Um, I'm quite nervous at the moment still uh, presenting in front of small groups of people and um, although I've presented it quite well as soon as the judging was over I immediately burst into tears. It was just too emotional for me and I just became completely overwhelmed and wanted to get out of there as soon as possible. Um, the poster did win third prize though so <laughs> it was win-win. <laughs> My dogs, they've been so neglected <laughs> um, with me at work all the time and not necessarily coming out with them on Sunday walks and just being really understanding when I've got to have my head in books. My husband, he's also great. And also my colleagues that I've worked with. Um, I've had some amazing support from uh, people such as my mentor, Helen Hurst, who uh, recognised me when I was um, a staff nurse just getting interested in this. And she was the person that said to me, come on, Vicky, why don't you give research a go? I think you'd be really good at this. Um, and my clinical academic supervisor as well. my aims would be to demystify research to a lot of clinical um, practitioners out there um, and try and get more people involved. Um, us on the front line we know what needs changing in practice and it's not as scary as you think. Um, that is my main goal for the future.
be resilient. Don't worry about imposter syndrome. Everybody's got it. As you go down this path, you'll meet people with many years of experience and they still have it. Just don't worry about it and keep going. Just seek out um, a network. Anybody who works in research in your trust or wherever it may be that you work, ask, reach out and ask them for to support, for ideas. Um, don't be frightened and don't be intimidated. Before I came into this, I thought it was mostly um, middle-aged men in lab coats, and it's not. There's just normal people like you want to make a change. So don't be frightened and um, just seek out the good people out there. So I've been amazingly supported um, by the women in my field, be it from management um, allowing me the time that's needed to do the research that I'm doing, or the little nudge I've received from um, colleagues, the little, um, go on Vicky, you can do it. Hopefully I will carry on by supporting other women by carrying on to demystify it and um, help them find ways into the roles. Because we've been so underrepresented for so long, um, but we are amazing and we're making great changes. So I think that we deserve some celebration and we need to do it just to inspire other people to get on board.